Yes, yes, this will uh, do very nicely. Very nice place you've got. Very uh, chic. <laughs> Nothing like a bourgeois bank robber to remind me of how strange Los Santos has become. In my day, the psychos at least had the dignity to be psychotic. Nowadays, it's all about uh, home furnishings and going straight. All right, you ready? Because this is it. Well, it's, it's not it, but uh, it's something, it's something... Uh, <laughs> Very big. It's not quite ready yet, but I wanted to uh, see how you're doing. What I've got is a Fleesa Bank franchise. And it's nothing too complicated. There's no buy-in. Normally, there would be a buy-in. You would put in money up front, we would arrange the job, and you would pull it off. But this time, I'll uh, cover the upfront costs. Call it the uh, price of getting a look at you. And there's no risk to you. Unless, of course, you count uh, getting locked up or shot. <laughs> so. You ready? What do you think? You, uh, questions, comments, concerns? All right. What are you waiting for? Let's go see this place. Take us to the Felisa on Western Highway, near Chumash. Word of warning, we're on the job right now, so don't let the cops notice you. If they come after us, we call it off. So, my taciturn friends, I suppose you want to know how we're doing this. Well, funny you should ask. We're driving out to the bank, taking a look at it, picking up some equipment, and then heading back to make our plans. Not very complex at all. We're not going in, we're not poking it with a stick. We're just sitting back and taking a look. You see, uh, I like my scores like I like my dates. But across the street and unaware they're being watched. <laughs> all right, so why this bank over all the other banks in the state? Why does fortune favor this one? Hmm? Another good question. You're full of good questions. You're like a child whose parents think it's clever, or the IRS. Or well, this bank's got some safety deposit boxes, and in one of those safety deposit boxes are some bonds being hidden from the tax man that no one's gonna report missing. All starting to make sense. Security should be light, well, relatively light. Light if your daydreams are raids on the Union Depository. Quite heavy if your day job is turning over liquor stores and gas stations. And the bonds in the box will be worth more than a few rumpled notes from a till, so the minor escalation is worth it, if you can handle it. Plus, you know, the sea view, <laughs> nothing like staring at the ocean while you contemplate money and power, and incarceration and homicide, yeah, all those weighty issues surrounding your first foray into serious armed robbery. I'm assuming you're kind of a cerebral crew, because otherwise this whole not talking deal just kind of puts you on the spectrum, right? <laughs> Okay, well, how about we just get there and see where we're at? There it is. Take a look. Drink it in. I've patched into their security feed on myself. Take a look. Small joint, not much security. Staff won't give a crap, <laughs> especially about the deposit boxes. Customers will probably be thinking uh, how to turn this into a screenplay. <laughs> the boxes are in the back behind the safe door. We want box number 167. Yeah, it's right on the highway with good access. That works for you. You can get out quick, but it'll also work for the cops. Speed up their response time. Okay? Okay. Enough of this peeper crap. Let's go to the garment factory. Now, when you hit the bank, you're gonna need to hack into its security system. I've written a neat little program that'll do most of the work for you, but it's probably a good idea for you to familiarize yourselves with it. You, in the passenger seat, I've sent it to your phone. Take it for a dry run, keep your hands steady, and maybe the wet run won't be a disaster.
I'm calling Paige. She's my assistant. First she's gonna get us what we need, then she's gonna sell me in half. <laughs> like that one? Uh, you don't make it easy. Hey, pass in your seat. Did you get into their network? Good work. Paige, it's Lester. The place looked good. Nothing we weren't expecting. Can you get the intel together? Hard copies to go on a notice board. Yeah, plus all the equipment we spoke about. I'll be over to collect it with uh, those people. Yeah. Mm, charming as ever. Okay, see you soon. She's loading the hardware into the back of a truck. Tools for the job, things for you to wear. On a job, your attire will depend on the role you're performing. As a job gets more complicated, so will the uniforms. If you're likely to be seen by civilians, you'll be provided with a couple of masks. Then when you go into the bank, you can choose one that uh, goes with your eyes. <laughs> And hey, there's the added bonus of none of your favorite comic convention outfits being linked to a major crime. <laughs> whoop de doo All right, where were we? Ah, masks. Paige, oh yeah. Uh, we'll go over there, pick her up, and go back to your place to plan this thing. I can talk you through the planning board later. That might be helped by a visual aid. The rest is pretty self-explanatory. Listen to me, do what I say. Bullets go in here, come out there. And if you're ever caught, then keep your mouth shut. <laughs> There she is. Leave my car here, take the truck. Ugh, I should be using my cane. Hey. Now it's back to the apartment. sitting there making a perfect butt imprint in your easy wipe seat. I'll take your word for it. Thank you. It should all be there. The clothes, guns, headsets, hold alls, masks, the drill, the files with all the photos and surveillance work. Hey, there's enough here to make us all look real suspicious. Nice little conspiracy to commit robbery charge waiting to happen. What, they're gonna charge us with thought crime? Not so much thought as everything but the deed crime. We'd be caught with our pants down and a hard on out to here. Well, we're not getting caught. These are professionals. So I hear. The cheapest professionals money can buy. I like to think of it as investing in new talent. And until you and me start playing low-rent Bonnie and Clyde, that's the way it's gotta be. She didn't mean anything. Okay, okay, okay. Now, Paige, we'll set up a board for you, won't you, Paige? <laughs> I'd let you do it if you could reach. I mean, I didn't see any milk crates for you to stand on. <laughs> mm-hmm. The uh, most important thing to look for in an employee is respect. You can't get anything done without respect. <laughs> Where was I? Uh, oh, yes, yes, uh, the room. Uh, Paige is setting up this board on which you will plan your scores. You'll use it to uh, set out all the prep work you need to do, uh, select your crew, figure out how the take from a score should be split up. So you need a crew to take a score. But only one person can be in charge. Respect. Hmm? Isn't that right, Paige? Blow me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're only gonna need uh, one thing for this, uh, for this job. It's a high-speed armored car. Now, instead of Getting one legitimately, leaving a nice long paper trail to your front door, you're gonna be jacking one from a nasty Korean crew and leaving a nice long paper trail to their door instead. <laughs> this is good to go. Hey, here's your board. Good, good, good. And when you're ready to move on the car, go over it, study the plan, tick it off the list. You must be methodical. This isn't just a dumb crime. Well, there, there is an element of that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> And when you've got the car, we'll come back here and talk bank jobs. <laughs> bank jobs, bank jobs. Hello? Can you hear me? I'll be here to talk you through all these jobs. 
cops. Oh, what we got here? Uh, oh, yeah, the car. Okay. You're on the way to Del Perro, a Koreatown stick-up crew who's been using a parking lot as a base for scores. They're into extortion, uh, credit fraud, stolen cars, and some, uh, mini major robberies. I'd expect them to be packing and I'd expect them to be paranoid. Come to think of it, you won't find a bulletproof car in the hands of anyone who doesn't have a healthy dose of paranoia. First time, you know the uh, first times. Well, it's never easy. There won't exactly be uh, fireworks, you know. <laughs> it'll be a, uh, it'll be vaguely awkward and uh, disappointing, you know. You probably stick the wrong thing in the wrong part, and you'll finish too early, and, and you won't be able to to make eye contact afterwards. But uh, but new worlds will will open up. <laughs> Something will have changed, you know. New uh, opportunities, uh, new risks. <laughs> And that's when you'll remember the old Uncle Lester was here for you. Hold your hand. Guiding you through it. <laughs> and then you'll feel a little creeped out, but, but you're gonna repress it. Squash it down. We'll 
never talk about it. Okay? Okay? Hmm. Okay. First time. Lisa! Woo! <laughs> it's a two-man score, right? One of you drives, keeps the heat off of you. The other goes into the bank, goes to the specific safety deposit box. Then you get out of there, you get in that fast armored car, and you get the hell out of that place. Then once you're clean, once you got no heat on you, come see me, give me the box, and you get paid. Hmm? Okay. You know, uh, like I said, it is your first time, so, uh, don't expect too much. There are, uh, wild, mm, insane, mind-blowing orgies in your future. <laughs> orgies! <laughs> but, uh, you know, we all gotta start somewhere. <laughs> Good luck!
Show it to me. Ooh, yes, it is the holiday season at the Crest Residence, and Daddy's out drinking. <laughs> Say, past. And if that thing I talked about comes up, I'll call you in. In the meantime, if anyone comes to me, I'll mention you as a reliable pair of hands. Hey, for the first time, that wasn't bad, but don't get clingy.